Here at Malaya Grab, we rehabilitate and rescued the victims of illegal wildlife trade, the gibbons. Gibbons is known as the forgotten apes because there's still lack of research, lack of funds, lack of facility that help gibbons in Southeast Asia. The illegal wildlife trade, especially gibbons, start bombing in Malaysia at 2013, where all these social media start booming. You can see from one picture, there's so many thousands of likes. Imagine if every one of these followers likes and share how many gibbons already been taken away and killed. The reason why I started this project is because of my first gibbons. I also used to have them as pets. His name is Alec. He's the one that triggered me to learn more about gibbons. And then from there, I realized that if I love him so much, I need to send him back to the wild, not to own him. In Malaysia, there are so many gibbons, victims of the illegal wildlife trade that have the same fate like Alec. Often separated, kidnapped, from their home, and there are no single facility that helps them. Today, I'm going to bring you guys to see Ada and Adi. They've been surrendered to us a few days ago, and then I want to show you how they've been with us. This morning, it's my routine to do a health check on newly arrived gibbons. I want to check for their bloated, their body temperature. I need to hold them uh, to gain their trust, to make them allow me to check them without any restraint and stress. When they first come in, I had to take the role of the surrogate mother because they need this mother figure to motivate them again. But slowly also when, when we see that they start becoming more confident with themselves or with friends during the socialization, we will start distance ourselves slowly from them. It takes around 5 to 15 years to rehabilitate a gibbons and also to send them back to the wild. Malaya grab and Borneo grab, we follow strictly the IUCN best practice guidelines for gibbon rehabilitation and translocation. So in order for us to release a family, they need to fulfill seven criteria. For people out there that animal lover especially, or wants to support, you know, help wildlife, the first thing that you need to understand, don't keep them as pets. If you love them, you need to let them go, let them free, respect them in the wild. 